play or see an apprentice called uh, Hope the King and the Changes the Weather. And uh, the elements play quite a part in that play. And they play quite a part in this poem as well, which is called Tsunami, which you'll all know what a tsunami is. But this poem is written in the voice of the tsunami itself. So, and we have the backing of the Creoles. Thank you. It is none of my business if you are young, old, rich, poor, amusing, or boorish. You may be a champion athlete or wheelchair bound, Muslim, Christian, a genius, a dog. You may be an ecstatic newlywed or mourning the death of a loved one. When I arrive, it is all the same. Consider this, I have been misplaced, pushed out, moved on thousands of miles. At the ocean's depths, the earth heaved, writhed, turned in its sleep, sent me packing, a hunchback journey across vast wastes. From me, there was no resistance. How can a slingshot resist the thrower, the bullet resist the gun? I would have run my course, expended all energy across the waters, settled once more to swells and currents. You got in my way. Your resorts, fishing villages, hotels, restaurants. I was a startled, stampeding bull. You were the child in my path. I could not turn. What lay ahead was destroyed, swallowed. Buildings, cars, bridges, trees, trains, and people. I pulled people deep into my drowning arms. I blundered further inland. This was not my element, not where I belonged, my clear waters made filthy, littered with wreckage and the dead. I feared you may spread me too shallow and wide, to die a fetid, stinking death, or trap me in your saltless lakes, or the deep pockets of your valleys. Thus I gathered my strength, drew breath, and retreated pell-mell to my natural home. Many of you were dragged with me. I survived your territory. You could not survive mine. That is the way of things. territory. You could not survive mine. That is the way of things. Mm -hmm.